Hey, this is Metal Mike and welcome to the new edition of Metal for Life and today's column is called The Power of Five and we are going to be talking about unusual ways of playing pentatonic scales that you guys know are made out of five notes and I have a funny story because I had a saxophone player who said why do guitar players always play the scales in similar fashions. Whenever we descend, we always go and it says, you guys never sort of ascend in a special way. Every time I see your fingers, they always look the same when you guys play guitar. And I started to think about that. So I've put some licks together that hopefully will get us out of that rut. Okay, check this out. Okay, so the first example is in the key of A minor pentatonic. And of course, you all know about playing this basic shape in A. Okay, so we're playing the same exact notes of the A minor pentatonic scale, but we're going to play it in different positions in the groups of four. Okay, so the way I play this lick is that I only pick once per string, I pick a note, and then I pull off to the note that is always behind it. Okay, this lick only has one set of two notes per string. Check this out. resolves back to A. Okay, the tricky part of this lick lies right around here to there because you're quickly switching from the pinky to the first and the ring to the first. And then you sort of like do a mirror image of ring to the first and pinky to the first. It goes right? So check this out. This is basically how it sounds. You could practice this just in this position and pretty much add the other guys to it once you get it. It's a lot easier to play just this part than when you actually move into from playing something in between. Okay, so take it slow and good luck. I got one more of those type of licks to show you and this one ascends from the third fret all the way up to 17. Check this out. Just like the lick before, we are also doing one pick per string, except now you are hammering on a note that's above the note that you have picked. And then lick starts here, and it changes position, and again in the middle we'll go through some weird stuff that's difficult to, to figure out, and then the lick evens up at the end of it, okay? So let me show it to you slow. Simple, simple, and here comes the more difficult part on the third string. That's the difficult part basically because you're doing a, a wide stretch right from the 7 to the 13th fret. You're doing one of those guys. And to add insult to injury, your next shape is this. So you really have to get these shapes under your fingers in order to execute them fast and clean. Uh -huh. 